Our fast-paced modern world has made lives easier and more convenient thanks to technological advances, transportation, communication, and more. However, it seems this convenience comes at a cost to our mental and physical health. Stress and anxiety are at an all-time high. But why is modern life so stressful? Let us walk you through some key reasons why we all feel like we're running extra fast to stay in the same place. Always on. We're constantly connected through our smartphones, tablets, laptops, you name it. We've got a screen that demands our attention. And it never stops demanding. We feel like we must be checking emails, social media, and news alerts around the clock, which always leaves us on high alert. Being connected is great for keeping in touch with friends and family who live far away, but it also means we never get a real break. Our brains get flooded with dopamine hits every time a new notification pops up, so we get addicted to that constant stimulation. But it wears us out mentally because our attention is constantly splintering between all the different messages, calls, and updates coming in. We lose the ability to be truly present with whatever, or whoever, is right in front of us. Trying to keep up with everything flowing through our devices at lightning speed is exhausting. There is no time to unwind because we have to respond to that work email right now or see what just got posted on Instagram. Our devices have blurred the lines between work and personal time, so it's hard to fully relax, even on weekends or vacations. No wonder many of us dread the endless beeping and buzzing that signals another interruption vying for our fragmented attention. Being online and at our device's disposal has definitely contributed to rising stress levels. Keeping up with the Joneses online. Social media has invaded our lives in so many ways, and one of the less obvious yet impactful ones is how it stokes comparison and feelings of not measuring up. We scroll through perfectly curated feeds showing other people's highlight reels, their stunning vacation photos, fancy dinners at hot new restaurants, and adorable kids smashing milestones. It creates an illusion that everyone else has a far more exciting, accomplished, put-together life than our reality. Psychologists have a name for it, social comparison theory. We intuitively size ourselves up against others, and when most of what's fed to us online is polished, idealized versions of people's lives, it's easy to start feeling inadequate. Compared to our friends, we're not traveling, parenting, or career achieving enough. Money stresses ratchet up too, as we see all the nice things others are buying and doing. None of us see the full, imperfect pictures of other people's lives, just what they want us to see. The algorithms powering social platforms are designed to keep us hooked by feeding us more of what triggers those dopamine-driven comparison instincts. It's the perfect recipe for constantly fueling feelings of not being good or accomplished enough. Even if we consciously try to avoid comparisons, it seeps into our subconscious and stresses us out below the surface. No wonder deleting social media apps for a while does wonders for some people's mental well-being. Always in a rush. Modern work life demands we squeeze more productivity out of less time. Whether it's back-to-back -back meetings with short breaks in between, juggling multiple projects at once, or being expected to answer emails at all hours, we're in a constant state of hurry up and wait. There's no leisurely pace anymore. Everything must be done quickly. And suppose it's not our job to keep us rushing. In that case, all the other obligations demanding our overscheduled time, like kids' activities, errands, social commitments, and more. We feel guilty if we're ever not being productive. Downtime is seen as laziness instead of what it truly is, an important part of renewing our mental and physical reserves to power through busy periods with less burnout. Crisscrossing our schedules in a mad dash from one thing to the next leaves no breathing room. Deadlines and to-do lists loom, creating unrelenting pressure to cram it all in efficiently. Is it any wonder we feel stressed before the day even begins? Our intolerance for boredom or aimlessness has morphed into a culture that thrives on going on without an off switch in sight. It's no way for humans, as social creatures needing downtime and community, to healthfully live. Juggling act overload has become the norm, yet it comes at the cost of high stress and anxiety as we burn the candle at both ends, trying not to drop any balls. That go-mode lifestyle wears us thin physically and emotionally over the long run. We end up less happy, focused, and productive, even if we not short-term wins by packing crazy schedules. Is it really worth the strain? Overconnected yet lonely. Ironically, despite hyperconnectivity through technology enabling more contact than ever, 
modern society has spawned an epidemic of loneliness. The real human connection gets neglected in a culture that moves too fast and forces us into non-stop action. Sure, we can text, message, and chat online, but pixels on screens aren't a substitute for meaningful in-person interactions. We evolved as social creatures who thrive on face-to-face -face togetherness. Yet, today, many of us live solitary lives even while surrounded by people. Busy schedules keep us too occupied to cultivate a close community, and screens provide an easy way to avoid vulnerability. But superficial contacts online don't fulfill our deep-seated need to belong and be understood. Loneliness is surprisingly detrimental to both physical and mental health, increasing risks for heart disease, depression, cognitive decline, and more. Who would have guessed being alone amid a sea of followers and friends could feel isolating? It is no surprise loneliness has morphed into a public health crisis, considering how difficult modern society makes it to form substantive connections. This disconnect breeds stress and unhappiness even when alone with our distractions and screens. Financial worries. Money stress adds to the weighty cocktail of modern woes. From skyrocketing living costs, including housing, healthcare, and education, to stagnating wages not keeping pace, finances loom large over many of our lives. Whether making ends meet month to month or chipping away at big debts like student loans, money pressure permeates much of our thinking without respite. Something as mundane as a $500 car repair can disrupt fragile budgets, and an unexpected illness can bring medical bills that devastate people's accounts. Then consider trends like inflation rising faster than incomes, one missed paycheck away from trouble for 40% of Americans. Is it any wonder that 63% of people cite money as their top source of stress, according to the American Psychological Association? Financial security feels like an impossible dream despite hard work. When basic needs seem perpetually at risk, it breeds low-level distress, making coping with life's other challenges even harder. Budget cuts and frugality become constant companions just to survive. Add societal messaging amplifying the importance of social status through acquiring nice cars, homes, gadgets, and vacations. Money worries ratchet higher. Modern economics have made financial weight a collective burden carrying large consequences for well-being. So in the end, don't forget, if you liked what you learned here about why modern life can stress us out so much, be sure to smash that subscribe button and click the notification bell. And leave a comment below if you're feeling overwhelmed from all this hustle and bustle too.